Hi Penn State fans, I'm here to talk about some really great original artwork, watercolor paintings that celebrate the history of the Penn State Nittany Lions football uniforms from the early years in the late 1880s right up to the modern era. And I'm going to show you this artwork in a lot greater detail, but let me just explain that this artwork would really make a, make a great gift, like Mother's Day, Father's Day, wedding gift, anniversary gift, retirement gift, a birthday gift, or it doesn't even need to be a gift. You or somebody you know could really be just a great Nittany Lions fan, and this artwork would really make a beautiful piece in somebody's home or in their office. Allow me to give you a little background and then we'll get right into the art. My name is Scott Silcox and I'm from Toronto. For 16 years I owned a company called Maple Leaf Productions and, and we made and sold a whole variety of products that celebrated the history of uniforms. NFL uniforms, Major League Baseball uniforms, NHL uniforms, as well as NCAA uniforms. But for the moment, can I just focus for a sec on the NFL, Major League Baseball, and NHL and describe to you the products that we made for those leagues. Um, and, and that is just to show you. We did a, a large plaque poster and a, and a vertical poster. These were wonderful sellers for us across North America. So we used the great artwork for the NFL and baseball and, and hockey for um, these plaque posters, but in addition to plaque posters, we also did framed posters. I'll just show you a couple examples. We did many different shapes and sizes. These are just two. Um, again, I'm just trying to get across to you how the, the actual artwork was used in, in various products that we made. So you know, here's a couple samples of framed posters. Then in addition to framed posters, we also used the, the great NHL and NFL and Major League Baseball artwork on clocks, on coffee mugs, um, on fridge magnets, um, there's a couple different fridge magnets, on a neat little desktop product called a fan frame, again tracing the evolution of a team uniform. Oh, we made um, playing cards, they're kind of ace, king, queen, jack, ten playing cards, um, and, and mouse pads and collector plates and a number of other things. When it came comes to the NCAA, our artwork is much newer, we, and, and so we've only kind of just begun the launching of products for NCAA, and we really just have two products at the moment that, that this Penn State artwork has been featured on. Forgive me that I'm going to be showing you an Oklahoma Sooners framed uh, print and a University of Oklahoma Sooners uh, fridge magnet set, but you get the point, Penn State fans, if, if you don't mind, if you just pretend we do a Penn State version of this and a Penn State version of that. And so at present, the artwork, has, Penn State artwork, has been used on these two products, and in the coming years, it will certainly be used on a variety of other products, like perhaps clocks and, and coffee mugs and fan frames and playing cards and plaque posters and mouse pads and on and on. But um, So the NCAA artwork is a little bit newer, um, and it will be seen on a number of products, although it's, it's seen on some right now. For the Penn State artwork itself, I just did want, allow me to explain that we've got 14 pieces, um, in fact one has been sold, so 13 remaining pieces of great artwork that show the evolution of Penn State's uniform. You're not going to be able to see this artwork in, in very great detail on this video, but our website that's devoted to the sale of this original artwork, which is heritagesportsart.com, you will be able to zoom in on all of this artwork and really see it in great detail. So please visit the website to really see the, the artwork, but I'll give you a flavor of what we, we have for sale. Um, the first is from the 1887 season. I think this has such a great story, and I, I just want to tell it, but I almost can't. But basically, the uniform was, had pink letters on it, and, and who would have known that Penn State had pink in their uniform, but they did in their first year. Um, at any rate, we also show the great 1905 uniform. Um, then we've sold the 1922 uniform, so then this is the 1928 uniform, kind of a neat style, um, different for you know, a college football, you're different for a football uniform than, than what you see today, more like a hockey style uniform. Um, then we have one from the 1939 season, and in college football and the pros, the players started to wear, or the team started to have uniform numbers on the front of their uniforms in the 1930s, and so we begin honoring in our paintings great players. So for instance, this 1939 piece honors Leon, Leon Gajeki, um, a great Penn State player of his era. Then we have a 1947 uniform, the all-white version, um, and this honors uh, Steve Suhi. Um, then our 1948 piece honors Sam Tamburo. Uh, our 1954 uniform honors number 42, Lenny Moore. The 1969 piece, Mike Reed. And certainly to Penn State fans, I'm hoping these are somewhat familiar names. Our 1973 uniform, the great John Capaletti, the Heisman Trophy winner for Penn State. Um, 
And then our, um, sorry, our 1982 uniform honors Kurt Warner, number 25. Then our 1986 honors uh, Shane Conlon, great player for so many years, not only at Penn State, but in the NFL. Um, our 1994 uniform honors Kerry Collins. And finally, our 2005 uniform honors Paul Puzlesny. Um, uh, and so those are our 13 pieces of artwork that are available for sale. You can really see them in a lot greater detail at heritagesportsart.com. And allow me just to make the quick point that there are hundreds of thousands of Penn State fans across North America, and we've only got 13 pieces of remaining original art. So if this is something you're interested in, I'm not trying to do a hard sell on you, but if you're interested, please act sooner rather than later, because hundreds of thousands of fans, 13 pieces of art, you know, they aren't going to last long. Um, thanks for your time on that one, on that sales pitch. Now, let me, I'd love to explain to you how the artwork can, you, know, you can purchase the artwork, because there's basically three formats. And I've just used this great 1948 piece as an example. The first way you can buy the artwork is in this raw, unframed format, just like you see here. You'd place an, if you placed an order today, we'd package it up properly, we'd ship it to you by UPS, such that you would get it in 7 to 10 days' time, and then when you get it, you could frame it or mount it however you see fit. For almost all of these 13 remaining pieces, this price is $350. In one or two cases, the price is a little bit more because it's a Heisman Trophy winner, the Johnny, John Capoletti year, or um, some other reason, and the website will describe all the pricing. So when I'm talking about pricing in this video, please understand it's for the majority of the pieces, but perhaps not every piece. So this is $350 in the raw, unframed format, and it includes UPS shipping. Then the second way you can buy the artwork is in what we call our classic frame version, right here, where it's a thin black metal frame, a double white mat, then your artwork would be framed, along with an engraved plate telling the story of the artwork. This piece, in almost all of our cases, is $425. Again, that includes UPS shipping. Then the third and final way you can buy the artwork is in what we call our deluxe frame version. In this case, it's a thicker black frame with a black mat, your framed artwork would, would go there. There again, right below the artwork would be an engraved plate telling the story of the artwork. And then at the bottom of this poster is um, a, a poster that celebrates the entire history of the team uniform. So in the case of the Penn State and, um, and all our NCAA ones, the poster is a slightly more squarish in shape. And so this frame would be a little bit larger to accommodate this sized poster. Um, and you can see this on our website and see exactly what this looks like. I'm, it's a little bit odd the way I'm holding it here, but basically, so this piece, what I love is that, that you can actually see your original artwork there and say, okay, there's my 1948 piece of art, I love it, and then boom, you can see right at the bottom, oh, there it is, that actual artwork has been reproduced in this poster. I just think it makes a great presentation. This is $450, including UPS shipping. Um, now, uh, how do you place an order? It's really simple. There's just two ways. The first is visit the website, heritagesportsart.com. It's fully e-commerce enabled. You can buy using any major credit card through the PayPal system. Or if you wanted to speak to somebody live and in person, you're going to speak to me. I'd love to talk to you. My name is Scott. The cell phone number is 416-315-4736. I'd love to tell you about the history and research that went into this project about working with the artist and, and on and on. It'd be fun to talk to a, a Nittany Lions fan. So please call me if, if you want to speak to somebody live about placing your order. Um, I just have two final points and then I'll leave you alone, Penn State fans. The first is if you happen to know another uh, Penn State fan who you know, appreciates great art, would you be nice enough to pass this YouTube URL on to them? If you would, that would be really nice of you and I, I really appreciate your help in, in promoting the, the, the sale of this artwork. And secondly, you might recall that earlier I mentioned that in addition to this great NCAA artwork, we've also done NFL, Major League Baseball, and NHL artwork. And on our website, the heritagesportsart.com website, we have over 1,500 pieces of original artwork available for sale. It's beautiful artwork, so if somebody was a fan of another team in another city, chances are very good that right now we've got some great original artwork available for sale. And, and if you could help promote the website and, and pass it on to any friends, we'd be very appreciative heritagesportsart.com. So thanks, Penn State fans. You're wonderful. I know you're some of the most loyal fans in all of college football. 
thanks for your time. I wish you personal health and happiness, and I wish Penn State nothing but the best in this upcoming season. Thanks very much. Bye.